Okay, Shetta Camp, Nova Scotia, on the island of Cape Breton. I love this place. Uh, food's good. Um, people are real friendly. Winters are miserable here. They're they're a little rougher than what you might expect. But summers and fall, absolutely gorgeous. And Shetta Camp is. Okay, if you're going this way, it's the entrance to the, well, okay, put it this way. It's the start or the finish of the, through the Highlands Park and the Cabot Trail. So, it's pretty cool. Um, nice place to stop. Uh, like I said, great food. So, now we're just getting into I'll slow down once we get into the downtown. It's not really a lot but they do have good pizza, I'll tell you one thing. And one of my favorite restaurants is coming up soon that I'll be stopping in after I have this uh, uh, video done. I have to come all the way back to do it, but uh, I'll point it out to you as I'm going through. Okay. Now, as we go through here, uh, that's Flores. That is a, um, um, like a little doodad place. It's got all of, uh, all your souvenirs and everything else. And it is, in the summertime, it is really, really busy. Like, packed busy. Um, which is kind of cool because they do have a lot of stuff. If that's your thing, you like little knickknacks or souvenirs, if you want to pick up something for your friends, there you go. Now you can take that road, uh, Shetta Camp Island. There's nothing really on it, but it is kind of neat to uh, take a look at Shetta Camp from the other side, if that's your thing. Shetter Camp is Acadian. It was a fishing village, and it, well, it still is, but there's a lot more going on now. You know, more, more people move in. People want to retire here or whatever. So there's one gas station right there. And now we're getting down a little bit more downtown. That's Shetta Camp Island right there. Oh, I see a high hole over there, so they must be doing must be doing something. Oh, seafood stop restaurant. That's where I'm going. After I shoot this video, that's where I'm going. I love that place. I always great service, always good food. Um and you know, seafood is never cheap, no matter where you go. But I find it, I find it pretty pleasant. That is it on the left. For those people who are walking, I don't know if you can see it. All the cars there and everything else. There's the seafood stuff. Absolutely love that place. It looks packed, so glad I'm not going in there right now. And there's cars parked across the road, and there's cars parked around back. So it looks like they're pretty busy. Got some motorcyclists and a lot of motorcycles do the cabin trail if you're a bike enthusiast and you want to well a motorcycle or bicycle now my own opinion is if you use a bicycle like this guy on the cabin trail you better be prepared because that is absolutely grueling and here we go Ok, 
Abbott Trail. Shed of Camp Nova Scotia. This is September, so uh, there's co-op and home hardware and a uh, liquor store, so you can get your supplies there. A beautiful church on the uh, uh, right side there. Now, like I say, it's a lot slower right now than uh, in the summertime. In the summertime, this can be a little bit of a zoo. It is September, by the way. So I'll try and hit the stuff as we go through it. Um, there's the Evangeline Restaurant, Pizza Shack, another little uh, natural health prog store on the other side. And I love some of the little colors, like that place right there, right on the water. Love it. Absolutely love it. The Acadian Motel. Um, that's, that's actually a nice place. Uh, little rooms, but it's clean, it's quiet. Um, and it's just on the edge of town, like you can watch everything right there. Um, there's a, uh, that used to be the old liquor store right there. Oh, the gas station's gone, okay. Acupuncture. Uh, it's a restaurant with a boardwalk down there. That's Wabo's Pizza. They make pretty good pizza and don't airs. Baywind Suites, there's the Harbors Restaurant on the one side there. Now isn't it neat, the houses, that's right on the water on your uh, left. That's pretty neat, the houses there, isn't it? Got a bank. pharmacy now you can go uh, Captain Zodiac they have whale cruises here there's the Gabriel it's a little restaurant pub they have music in there and that sort of stuff another gas station of Petro Canada yeah so you can get whale watching cruises from here uh, pretty awesome you're pretty well guaranteed to see a whale when you go out this little Frazier's Motel that we just passed. That's an old Tim Hortons. Well, little cabins, and I mean they are little, but they're cheap and they're good if you just want to catch a sleep. You know what I mean? See, right on the ocean. Everything's right on the ocean here. And I don't know what that guy's doing. Mr. Chicken is right on my uh, right and they have good chicken and good ice cream that uh, place right there on the left is a little restaurant it's not bad a little expensive though looks like they got a golf club course up here now so if uh, golf again is your game, there you go. Robin's Donuts and coffee, pretty good actually. Since Timmy pulled out, they put in a little place and it is good, it's, uh, um, it's, it's nice tasting. There's some little cabins on your uh, right. Get to the edge of the park. I know it's a little sort of out of Shetty Camp, but it's it's not that far, okay? So those on your uh, left are cabins you can rent. Now those are big. 
the Pilot Well Chalets. Cha when I hear chalet, I think money. But they are nice. Boy, there's a few new places in here. Every time I come through, there's a few new places. Okay, it's that bakery. It, it's just up uh, uh, up the road a little bit. It is delicious. But if you want to get something, I'll tell you right now. Get there in the morning because usually um, they sell out of a lot of stuff first thing. So get there first thing in the morning early and you might have a chance of getting something. But you know what? It's, it's a beautiful, well-kept place. It is clean. The people are friendly. There's a lot of French here. Uh, the Acadian, of course. But, you know, everybody speaks English and uh, pleasant. Like I say, it's... And in the summertime, this place is busy. Like, there's a lot of people in here in the summer passing through. There's a little uh, LeBlanc General Store right on my right there. Um, I hit that place sometimes when I, uh, uh, I'm out on the trail doing some hikes and that. I'll go and uh, stop in there at night because they're open a little late. Yeah, the bakery's just down this road here. Yeah. Down La Point Road. So, uh, yeah, like I say, you got to get there early. It's delicious. Now... This is basically uh, running out. What you're seeing in front right now is like those uh, mountains there. That's the uh, park. Okay, so uh, uh, what you're seeing right there is the park and we're scurrying right down the hill here. Guaranteed whales, huh? So you can uh, get some guaranteed views. And it, the, it's pretty fun, you know, to go out. Um, Lola's hooked rugs. So uh, if you're going to do the trail from this side, fill up with gas might as well better be safe than sorry because starting up going slow everything else you're eating gas and you're not driving at highway speeds on this on the Cabot Trail through the park through the National Park because it, the road is really twisty one kilometer to the park Okay, so right here, coming up here, have a trail north. Coming up here, just at the edge of the park, there is a little hotel, and uh, boy, that guy's got the car pulled apart. Yeah, there's a little hotel and a little restaurant right there. So. There you go. Now. You're entering it now. You have to, if you're driving straight through, you're not going to use any of the facilities. You can drive straight through. If you're going to use the facilities, like in there, like the hikes and all that sort of stuff, there is a fee. Um, I encourage you to take your time going through the park. Um, I really do. I really, I really tell you to do it because there's so many hikes, so many beautiful things there. Cape Breton Highlands National Park. And this is the Information Center. So there you go. That's Shetta Camp. Woohoo! Not bad, eh? Nice little town. Perfect little spot. And, and like right here, like you can get into uh, camping. There's places to camp and everything right, right in the uh, uh, spot there. Um, like, like there's a campground you can actually go to. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You guys take care. Be safe on the road.